What's going on everyone? Grimsy Finds here, back with another video. I hope you guys are having a good weekend. I just wanted to cover something that I've been doing on the side, aside from eBay. If you've been selling on eBay at all, you would know that sales are a little bit slower than they used to be. Unfortunately, I didn't really deal with the used to be because I was a part-time eBay reseller at the time. So I've just been dealing with this. This is what I think is the norm, but it's probably not, right? Because I heard stories about how it was before and it was, you know, super high and fast selling and all that stuff. It's been a little slow lately. So in order to make up the difference, of course, because of course it's slower, so you're not making as much money. Uh, I've been dabbling with some experiments. So one experiment was I had a yard sale last week. So I did have the sale from Thursday, Friday and Saturday. And I was a little surprised, it was a little slow. Now I didn't advertise anything. I just said, you know, it's a yard sale, please come by. But I do live in a little bit of the outskirts of a city. It's a rural area kind of. So maybe that's one of the reasons why I did advertise it on Marketplace and also on Craigslist. There was a couple people that came by. They bought some stuff. I did make some money on there. It was some extra money, of course. And I got rid of some big items that I did not want to ship. So that was another good thing. I did have some video game stuff. I mean, I was asking a buck each on the games. Of course, they weren't like super desirable or anything. But I mean, there was some good games in there. One of the guys was kind of funny because he noticed that I had a bunch of games. And like, you do have a store. I was like, yeah, I have an eBay store. And just because right when I said that, you know, he like shut down and walked away. But I mean, I did tell him like before he had asked me that like a buck a piece and he was already looking through it. I don't know. I think eBay sellers have a, have a bad rap or something. I don't know. But I mean, I was giving him a deal. I understand. I mean, coming from an had I known there was an eBay seller, I probably wouldn't have went. But if I'm already there and they're giving me good deals, why not buy from them? I, I don't know. But anyways, that's one of the experiments I did and it worked It worked out okay. I mean, I sold some big stuff and made some money, right? And the rest of the stuff that I didn't sell that were big and bulky, I just donated to my local thrift shop. So that's gone. And I made tons of space in my storage. So that's great. And then the other experiment I'm dealing with is, you know, conventions. So I did attend a card convention. It's SD Collectibles. I'm not sure if you guys have heard of it. It's in San Diego. It's hosted like every two weeks or something. So I did go there. I sold some awesome stuff, lots of cards and some sealed products. So I was happy with that. I made some money on there too. And um, that just, I'm, the reason why am I bringing this up is because, I mean, some people think that if they're not making money on eBay, then that's the end of the road. And it's not. There's different outlets you can take to, you know, compensate for the loss of the slow sales on eBay. So I'm not giving up. Like, I am not giving up. I am going to keep trying. I'm going to keep finding ways to make money on the side, aside from eBay. If eBay is stay on this uh, slow trend and hopefully, I mean, hopefully it picks up or whatever. It would make a life a lot easier. But if it doesn't, I'm not giving up. I'm going to keep trying different outlets. And actually, when you're seeing this video, I'm going to be in a convention. It's called Paris Con or something like that. And it's kind of local to where I live. So I wanted to go there and hopefully make some money. It's my, it's, I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit nervous because this is a very small city compared to like, you know, Ontario or San Diego or Los Angeles, you know? So uh, the price was a little bit expensive. So hopefully this ends up being a good investment. Regardless, I should be able to sell some stuff and may hopefully make my money back on the ticket itself. Hopefully make some extra money as well. With slow, with slow sales on eBay, you do need to look at different avenues and see, you know, where you can make some extra cash because of course, we don't know when eBay is going to fix itself. I mean, hopefully it does soon. Another thing I've been thinking about is cross posting. And I, the reason I haven't is because I don't, I don't know if my items would do well in a different platform. I did try OfferUp because I mean, OfferUp was local with local pickup, but I never really delve into it 100% and I don't really like OfferUp. So if I did cross post, it would probably be Mercari. So I am thinking about that, contemplating that. And if I do do that, I will make a video about it. But for right now, I'm trying to do, you know, conventions and yard sales and hopefully that ends up working out for me. But let me know in the comments below if you if you're an eBay seller and you've been dealing with stuff like this and you noticed the slowness of eBay. What have you been doing to counteract those slow sales? I'm really interested and would like to know. Anyways, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I just wanted to give you a lowdown on what I've been doing. And I will probably film some uh, on the Paris Con convention if 
if I have the time. I also wanted to make this video just to let you guys know why I haven't been so active. So normally I like having a video Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and Monday, but because of these conventions and activities I've been doing, I had to slow down a little bit on YouTube. So that's why you were only seeing two videos this weekend. Hopefully the videos go back to normal next week. Anyways guys, thanks for watching and we'll see what I find next. Thanks guys.